is going on with the story? What I remember is that we got shipwrecked to Paris. Let's see what you have to say. And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. Then that's what makes a pirate, huh? Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the Gate is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> The pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough. If forward lies destruction and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! And yet you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't. That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Hmm. <sighs> We both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Ifrit's pirates. Ifrit is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Eifried is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Ifrit and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. You can say you can have a final fantasy? Okay. Yes, go on. To battle. Hurricane! Yeah. style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff.
So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails. I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. Okay. I'll end this quickly. Hurricane! No escape! No escape! Hurricane! Not good. Hurricane! I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Look at all these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malachim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not exactly normal ourselves. Kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing then. Not even remotely. Uh. 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 <laughs> You all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? 
I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malakim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malakim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. Listen, kid. If you're ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in... trouble? You better be ready. Victory is ours. You said exorcists bind Malakim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malakim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malakim aren't mere objects. Malakim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Arturius is concerned, Malakim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Titles! Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the White Turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope, I'm just a plain old Turtles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me. Thank but you. for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The Turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha. And at Old White Turtle Shop, we believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high... Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Zs. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> Much obliged. <laughs> you sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering... <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth?
What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakim, so I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? <sighs> I have an idea. Bob. Actually, yeah, I didn't have him. Ah, so his name... I think he has a name later on. Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martel the goddess, and Daos the demon king. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765. The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. <sighs> anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. Continue on. Deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it? They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier? All part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? the way in this one's actually guarded which means there's no barrier let's move everyone
stop. Those guards are... Careful. They're not what they seem. They transformed into demons. What kind of curse is this, Heisen? You didn't know. Let's go! How's that feel? Hold up! Hold up, Grimble! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! You wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. In that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find. Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. Do that thing can move? I don't think. They actually attack it. How's that? No escape! One down! Hold stop! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! If you want to live, get out of my way. Hmm. Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Eisen. You're the source of demon blight? Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the Sea Gate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. Up we go. Oh, no, I am. Wait. And this is one monster? I'll finish this quick. Hurricane! Compassion for me. Hey, not all the ships left. A battleship. Not good. A fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire strait. It's crazy what the Abbey can build. Until recently, I might not have believed it possible. It's no sweat, if you're using Malakim as tools. If Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons, they can also be made a hammer to forge metal. It's another way the Abbey and the Kingdom show their dominance to the people. It says, do not resist, submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting? Agreed.
This door should lead to the gate. But it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering. Indeed. And my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. <sighs> then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. Fingers. Wait! The key is in the control room. It's through there. Power. One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Uh. Well, thank you for handling that. It just comes naturally. We need that key. But we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? <sighs> Let's start searching. Okay. <laughs> You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. Do you really never use them yourself? No, not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them. And once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blade separated from the hilt and went flying. That sort of thing. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body. That's one less thing that can go wrong. It's too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, if the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pirates under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire, but it seems Artorius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under Exorcist command. We aim for the Exorcists, then. The harder they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? I'd rather cut them, actually. Not in front of the kid, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna stop for this now, or at least a moment to break. Yeah, the editing for this is gonna be kinda loosely how I do it.
I didn't even start editing, I still recording. <laughs>